Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Continuing on with our countdown of some of the most classic Christmas party games. You better be taking notes. All right, coming in at number four, Trip to Jerusalem or Musical Chairs. In Trip to Jerusalem or Musical Chairs, the number of chairs is always less than the number of players. The usual thing that we do is girls and boys, to get together, to get together. So, you should be able to get together to get together. What does Jerusalem got to do with chairs? Kailangan malay kay sa upuan, malay sa upuan para wala masadong daya. More. Alam niyo ba ako tuhina sa yao niyo? Okay. Once na stop yung music, upo kayo. Sabre yung walang maupuan sa yung matatanggal. Ang challenge lang dito kasi kung ten yung players na yung upuan, so talagang may isang tanggal, pabawas ng pabawas yung chairs hanggang sa isang upuan na lang natitira at dalawa o tatlong players na lang ang naglalaro. Some theorists believe it must have originated from the time of the Crusades during the Zionist migration to Palestine when spaces on the ships departing for Palestine were limited. So the Israeli Zionists had to literally grab the chairs off some Palestinians. Who knew they had mono black chairs then? Actually, the game has been called in different names in different cultures. In Japan, it's called Game of Stolen Chairs. In Romania, Birdie Move Your Nest. And in Germany, it's Journey to Jerusalem. <laughs> Nakakatawa dun sa pagdating sa dulo na yung ano, yung labanan ng upuan na akala mo itamamatay nila pag hindi nila nakuha. Meron na! This is fun. Coming in at number three, the stop dance or statue dance. When the music plays, the players dance. But when the music stops, everybody stops and freezes like a statue. Matagal na talaga, bata pa tayo nito. Kinder pa lang tayo, madali yung mechanics, madaling gawin, nakakatuwa siya. Uh, lahat kayang gawin, lahat pwedeng sumali. Yun ang pinakamagala sa game na to. Wala nang kailangan kahit ano pang gamit, sarili mo lang. Parang sinasadya siya ng DJ na kung kailan, parang hatow na hatow na yung tao, saka siya, yun mo yung mga gano'n, yung mga nakakatawa. Yun. Stop! Kaya siya nakatawa kasi, I think that what's, what makes it even funny is kapag ka yung host, eh talagang pinagtatawa na niya. Oops, tatawa na yan. Oops! Gondo pala nang kinikili ni ate kasi nakagano'n, di ba? Kahit blink ng mata, hindi pwede. So yung host, pupunta siya sa mga players, titignan niya kung sino yung gumalaw na hindi. Ay, yung maghuhok yung ilong, ha? Ay, ayaw gumalaw na lang. Ay, grabe. Nagalala natin ang buong. Ay, ayaw talaga, ha? Ay. Hello. Magtara. Kung sino yung gumalaw, out na agad. While everyone is on statue mode, the host tries everything to distract the players and make them laugh, move, or even blink. Naku, sadya naman mga galing talaga mga players natin. Wala pa rin talo, kaya naman. That's party, party! Yan, wow! 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 Yeah! 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 Stop! 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 So, the challenge 
siya ng host dyan, nalapit siya, tapos magbebelat siya, or magpapatawa siya, gagawa siya ng joke para matawa yung player. Pag natawa yung player, edi eh, out na siya. Yung challenge doon is dapat hindi ka matawa, tsaka sobrang concentrated ka dun sa game. Ayan, taray! Kilikili pa ako, no? Ang naalala ko pala, one time sa family party namin, or every time may family party, kapag nakastop na, saka yung mga tito ko maghahagis ng barya. <laughs> And then, matitis yung mga bata na gumalaw. Anong pipiliin mo, manalo sa contest o yung barya sa harap mo? I bet ang partner na ba sila. <laughs> This game has been played in cave parties since the Paleolithic age. We swear, we're ang pinaka, we know what we're talking about. Just kidding. The point is, it never gets old. Dad! Oh, back. Oh, oh, stop! <laughs> stop! 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 Ready ba yun pag sumagot? Na! Trip to Jerusalem on musical chairs at number four and stop dance or statue dance at number three. Fantastic entries. All right, you guys ready for the top two? We're gonna find out what they are when ang pinaka returns. Thank you.